Welcome to Mr. ACAD Tutorials. In this video, we'll be creating this rim and wheel assembly. As you can see, this will be part of our Lego car. So we're going to be building two different parts. First, we're going to be building the rim. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the tire. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble everything. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to open up a part in millimeters. So we're going to go to File, New metric standard millimeters in double click and then we're going to start a 2d sketch we're going to start a 2d sketch on one of these vertical planes we're going to go ahead and select the xy plane right here i'm going to start a sketch oh, i lied i need to go back into sketch one go to line start at my origin and I'm going to go to the left, 5 millimeters, 5, enter. I'm going to go up 3 millimeters. I'm then going to go to the left, 3.5 millimeters. I'm going to go up 1. Go to the left again, 3.5. Up one. Right now it looks a little messy, but it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna fix it in a little bit. And then this line right here, we're gonna make this line go four. I'm gonna go down one millimeter. We're going to go across one millimeter and we're going to go ahead and we are going to connect this line all the way down here. So I'm now going to hit escape. And so you should have a shape that looks like this. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we are going to mirror some of these lines, not all of them, just some of them. So I'm going to go up here to my mirror command. And I'm going to select this line, this line, three, four, and five, five lines. Then I'm going to go over here in this box and go to mirror line. Select this vertical line I drew. Go to apply. And that's what it looks like right there. And done. What we'll be doing next is we're going to go ahead and draw a line. Connecting this guy right here. We're not going to click it there. We're going to go straight across. It should be four millimeters. And then we're going to go ahead and finish it off, close it off. So that means our sketch is completely done now. Next thing we're going to do is finish sketch. We're going to revolve this. And we're just select profile. We're going to go ahead and we're going to select two profiles, so like this one, and select like this one. Now our axis, we're going to go over here now, our axis of rotation, is going to be this line down here. So there's our axis of rotation, so it should look something like this. So one side has a big hole, and the other side has a smaller indention. Press OK, because we're going to go all the way 360 degrees. Press OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start a sketch now over here on this plane over here. So go ahead, let's go ahead and start a 2D sketch on this inside part of the, of the circle. And we're going to draw a circle that's 4 millimeters. So we're going to type in 4. And then we're going to create a line from the center to the top portion of this of this circle right there. Let me undo that. I didn't go far enough. So let me undo it. So undo that. It has to be all the way up to the top of the next circle. Right there. It should snap. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and offset that line to the left and to the right. 0.5 millimeters. So that's to the right. Now we're going to offset it to the left. 0.5 millimeters. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to trim. I don't need this part. I don't need this part. I don't need this part. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a circular pattern now. So I'll go to circular pattern. Click on these two lines here for geometry. And then for axis, I'm going to go ahead and click on the circle right here. And I'm going to create four of these lines, I mean, four of those uh, parts right there. So press OK. You can see sort of like this, like a cross. I'm then going to finish sketch. I'm going to extrude inside part here, all the inside parts. And then I'm going to select this other side right here as well. Click this side right here. And I'm selecting the inside circle as well as this little cross pattern. And I'm going to extrude it two millimeters, not 10, but two. And press OK. So there's what our rim is looking like so far. Now we're going to rotate it to the other side. And we're going to start a sketch now on this flat surface right here. We're going to draw a circle. And that circle is going to be 3.1 millimeters. Enter. I'm going to finish that sketch. And then I'm going to extrude. And it's going to be an extrude cut. So right here it says cut. Click on that. So it goes into our rim. And that distance is going to be 8 millimeters. Press Enter. And then there's our rim right there. You can go ahead and you can change it to whatever color you would like. Or it says default up here. You can go glossy gold. And there is the first part. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the tire. So save this part. I'm going to go ahead and open up the next one. So file new. Get metric, standard millimeters. Now I'm going to start a 2D sketch. Now the inside part of the wheel, so same thing, same axis, same plane that we started the next last one in, X, Y. So we're going to go ahead and we are going now to make this 10 millimeters. We're going to make a circle, that's 10 millimeters. We're going to offset. So this is the inside part of the wheel of the tire. I want to offset it by four millimeters to the outside, four millimeters. And I'm going to extrude finish sketch. I'm going to extrude this 10 millimeters right there. 10 millimeters already set to 10 millimeters. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and chamfer. So up here by fill it, the chamfer command. I'm going to click on this edge, and I'm going to click on this edge. And my chamfer distance is going to be 2 millimeters. Press Apply. Exit out of this window. Next, I'm going to start a 2D sketch here on this flat surface right here. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Actually, no, I'm going to draw a line. Go up, all the way up to the very top up here, touching that circle. And I'm going to do the same thing I did in the last part. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to offset it 0.5. So I'm going to go ahead and go over here to offset. Go to 0.5 each direction, 0.5. On the middle one again, 0.5 to the left. OK. Now this time though, I'm going to draw a horizontal line in between these two exterior lines. And one of the dimension from here to the center right here, this needs to be 7.5 millimeters. Just like that. So now that I have that right there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this extra parts down here I don't need. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish Sketch. And I'm hoping I did this correctly. There might be, oh, I forgot something. So I'm going to go back into my Sketch 2. I forgot to create a line up here at the very top connecting these two. 
there you go. Let's so zoom in just to make sure everything looks good. See how there's going to be a little there, a little lip up there? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this line, and I'm actually going to extend these lines a little bit further out. It doesn't really matter how far out I extend these lines. So as long as you extend them out a little bit more. Oops, this thing's moving a little bit. It doesn't really matter for this for this project here. But if we wanted to get those lines back straight again, let me just show you how to do that. So we need to draw a line again from the center here up. And then I would need to go over here where it says on my constraints. I would need to go here where it says collinear. And I would need to make that line collinear with this line. And then it lines it up again. So again, it doesn't really matter for now. As long as we just make this nice little rectangle up here, part of it needs to be sticking outside of this wheel. So we're going to finish sketch. We're going to extrude, cut. So we'll go over here, it says cut. And we're going to make sure it goes through all, through the entire thing. So if you don't know where that's at, it's going to be right here, through all. goes through the entire thing. And we're going to go ahead and press OK. And there it is. We're now going to do a circular pattern. So we're going to go to circular pattern. And we'll click on this feature here, this extrusion I just created. And I'm going to do a rotation axis. Click on this inner circle. And it, right here is going to ask me how many do I want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type, I want 25 occurrences of this shape. And then that's how many degrees. So degree 61 go all the way around. Press OK. And you can change the color. Make it glossy black if you want to. And then now I'm going to show you how to assemble these to make it look like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up a new type of file. I'm going to File, New. Make sure you're under metric. But now we're going to go to this next one right here, which is Assembly. And we're going to go ahead and open up a standard millimeters .iam file. So double click on that. And you're going to place these. Before you can place them, before you can bring them in here, you got to make sure you save them. So for me, it's going to be part 9, part 10. I already have these made on the rim and tire. So I'm going to go to assembly. I'm going to place in the top left up here. Look for these parts there. There's a rim. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the rim. Let's open. Place it in here. Press escape. Now I'm going to go ahead. The first thing I want to do when I open up an assembly is ground. You can see this, this piece is moving. I don't want that to happen, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, and I'm going to ground this piece. I'm going to put it in timeout, and now the piece is grounded. It can't move. You see? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, and now that I've grounded that piece, I'm going to go ahead and place up here again, and I'm going to bring in my Lego car tire. Press open. Bring it in. Now you've noticed that it's actually facing upwards, facing kind of the wrong direction here. It's okay. We're going to go to free rotate. I'm going to click on this, and we're just going to move it around. It doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's good enough. It'll be close enough to get it in here. You can see this one moves. This one does not move. So now we're going to learn about constraints. So I'm going to go to Constraint. And then I'm going to go ahead and wait for this axis to appear. You see this little axis? So don't click over here. Wait for this axis to appear. So I want that axis to be lined up with this axis. You see right there? And it makes a little sound. So we're going to go ahead and press apply. Now the axes are lined up. However, that's not the full shape of the of the tire. It's not the end product. So we're going to go ahead and click on this phase. We want that phase. Or actually, I'm going to go ahead and click on. Let me cancel that real quick and press escape. So I'm going to constrain it. I'm going to go ahead with this outside rim right here of this tire. I want it to be lined up with that edge right there. And then press apply. And then there you go. That's how we assemble this tire right here. So the axle is going to go on this side. And then this is going to be the exterior part of it. 
Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure you type them down in the comment section down below, and I will answer those as soon as I get a chance. Thank you for watching this video.